Hello everyone. We already know if the initial temperatures of the sample masses M1 and M2 are T1 and T2 where the higher of the two temperatures is called T1 and T2 is the lower temperature and T is the final temperature of the mixture then T is equal to M1 T1 plus M2 T2 whole divided by M1 plus M2. Now say the mass of the hot water you took was 3 kg and its temperature was 50 degree Celsius. Now you added 4 kg of cold water. Its temperature was 20 degree Celsius. What would be the final temperature of this mixture? Let us find it out. We already know the final temperature of a mixture is given by the formula M1 T1 plus M2 T2 whole divided by M1 plus M2. Here M1 is equal to 3 kgs and M2 is equal to 4 kg. T1 is equal to 50 degree Celsius and T2 is equal to 20 degree Celsius. So the temperatures are given in degree Celsius and the mass is in kilogram. So either we use units in grams and degree Celsius or in kilogram and Kelvin. Now if we wish to use SI units we need to convert everything into SI unit. So let's convert the temperature to Kelvin. If you add 273 to the temperature in degree Celsius you would get the temperature in Kelvin. So 50 degree Celsius is equal to 273 plus 50 and this is equal to 323 Kelvin. 20 degree Celsius is equal to 273 plus 20 and this is equal to 293 Kelvin. Now everything is in SI units. Here M1 is equal to 3 kg, M2 is equal to 4 kg, T1 is equal to 323 Kelvin and T2 is equal to 293 Kelvin. The final temperature denoted by T would be 3 multiplied by 323 plus 4 multiplied by 293 whole divided by 4 plus 3. Simplifying this we would get the final temperature as 305.85 Kelvin. Now we need to get the temperature in degree Celsius. So if we subtract 273 from 305.85 we get the temperature in degree Celsius and this is equal to 32.85 degree Celsius. So the final temperature of hot water and cold water mixture is 32.85 degree Celsius and I think little hotter would be better for you to take bath in cold winters. That's all for now. Bye-bye.